back to my channel. I am here to film the most highly requested video this year on my channel. None other than my full eyebrow routine. Now I know that I am all made up right now, but we are going to rewind a bit and I'm going to show you how I sculpt the perfect brow. Now let me be here to tell you in a moment, you're gonna see my brows. They are sparse. They do not grow a lot. The hair on my head thrives but not on my eyebrows. If you guys would like to see my updated eyebrow routine that is quick and easy and can be done in under five minutes, then please keep watching. So as you guys can see, I look very incomplete. I feel like I look crazy. I feel like I look like an egghead, a child, all of the above. So let's put some brows on because this is just proof that brows frame your face, whether you're wearing makeup, whether you're not wearing makeup. I look incomplete. Like even if you didn't know this was an eyebrow tutorial, I look a little incomplete. As you guys can see, I don't grow a lot of hair on my eyebrows. I don't have to get my eyebrows threaded or waxed. Now I do wax my eyebrows myself and I will leave that waxing system that I use linked down below. I have gone through plenty of eyebrow routines in the past and I will link those previous videos down below. Ultimately, I do want to get micro shading and if I do do that this year, of course I will take you guys along. I don't grow a lot of hair so for me, it's important to have a routine that I can do in under five minutes. So I like the method that I'm using now. I'm only using two products, my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the color dark brown and my Benefit Boing Concealer. I believe this is the old packaging and this is in shade number four. These plus my eyebrow brushes help get me together. So let's get into it. Now the brush that I use for my eyebrows is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Brush number 12. This is my favorite brush. It's an angled brush with stiffer bristles. It also has an eyebrow spoolie on the other side. And I also like that this brush has a spoolie on the end because I can get a feathered out diffused look. I don't like it to look like I drew one long line and just removed them down the middle. I use the Dip Brow Pomade because because it's a waterproof, really, really nice gel type of product where you can really build a brow. Dip brow can be rather tricky to work with at first. I find that this product works best when it's a little more dry. Not to say that you should like leave the cap off so it can dry out, but if you're not used to using something this creamy and emollient, you will probably get Sharpie brows. But so I'm literally just going to tap into the pomade. Tap, tap, tap. You're not even gonna be able to see it on the brush. And what I like to do is I like to start at the beginning of my eyebrow and I draw like the underneath line. Now, there is like a formula for drawing your perfect brow. You always want the end of your eye to kind of meet to the end of your brow and it should start like right here. And then from your nose straight to your eyebrow, that's where your arch should be. But honestly, as you get better doing your brows, you can kind of define where your arch should be, where the tail of your brow should be, and so on and so forth. I drew my first line. I haven't gone back into any product. And I'm just going to start drawing really small strokes. I like the lower line of my eyebrow to be a bit darker because I don't really like super intense brows. Once again, it's totally up to you and your preference and what looks best with your face. So I'm gonna dip a little bit more into my pomade. So as you can see now, my brow is darkening a bit. I'm going to fill in the tail. And the biggest tip that I can give is to use really small strokes and kind of flick your brush. You don't wanna like paint because you don't want to apply too much product. It brow a little goes a long way. One container lasts me well over a year and I probably apply makeup on average like twice a week. So I'm just going with my natural shape, kind of, <laughs> and I'm going to fill it in right here. I'm gonna create a little arch on top and I'm gonna bring it directly down on the side. And don't worry if you mess up, I just take my pinky and do that. So you can already see this is night and day. I literally have a brow and nothing over here. So once I start getting my eyebrow kind of on, I start using my spoolie to kind of just blend out the eyebrow product. I don't want it to look too thick. Even that looks a little striking to me, but let's fill in the other one and see how both of them look. 
And also you guys, eyebrows are usually the first step in my makeup routine. So it also feels a bit difficult and different to be doing my brows last. Hopefully they turn out well. <laughs> I guess you guys will be the judge. I'm pulling the product a little inward then my eyebrow actually grows. And that's why I really love this Dip Brow product. You can sculpt your perfect brow. I'm gonna make myself a nice brow. If you know how to apply gel eyeliner, you'll probably be good with Dip Brow, but I don't think that Dip Brow is a beginner-friendly product. I'm building more of a brow on top, and I'm adding an arch, and then I'm going back and feathering in more product. Now I'm going to blend it out and I just run it back and forth. Now another tip I have for doing your brows is to not hold your mirror too close because I feel like they're gonna look a bit more intense. So I like to have my mirror a little bit away from my face just so I can see what they look like in relation to my entire face. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm filling in sparse hairs Your eyebrows are not twins. One arch is probably a little higher. And yes, I can make them look alike, but ultimately, that's not like the goal. <laughs> the goal is just to have clean, crisp brows. Going back and just cleaning them up. I would say that these brows are pretty much set how they are. Now what I also love about Dip Brow is that you don't actually have to set this product. It's a gel formula, so it will set and hold your eyebrow hair in place, which I love. Not that I feel like it's gonna move or anything, but if you are a heavy sweater like myself, or if you have oily skin, this is a great option. So if you guys have been watching my makeup tutorials that I've done since January, you all will know that I've been hinting at a new routine. This is what I'm talking about. One day I just decided, you have all this makeup, girl, use it. So I remember when I purchased this years ago, a benefit representative showed me a new way of doing my eyebrows and I loved it. But I like a five minute eyebrow routine, so I stopped using this. But what I found is that it really helped my eyebrows to just look very crisp. Once again, this is in shade 04 and I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills eyebrow brush in number 18. This is what that looks like. And I'm just going to dip into my concealer, draw a line on the bottom. Drawing our line. And what this does is it just cleans up your eyebrow. So if you're someone like myself who doesn't go to get their eyebrows professionally threaded, waxed, or what have you, sometimes you do have a little bit of eyebrow hair growing in. This just makes it look more crisp and clean. It makes your brows look professional. So I am now back to using this product in my routine and it makes all the difference. You can also use like a powder product, but I find that once again, because I have oily skin, this just works best. So I apply it under my brow and then the bottom line of that concealer, I just blend out with the flat side of the brush. And I love the way this looks. It kind of acts as a natural brow highlight. It's not shiny, it's 100% matte. And this gives me perfect brows. Like, your girl is back. She's back. <laughs> So that's it guys, my updated full eyebrow routine. I hope it was easy to follow. It's not anything that's too time intensive or hard. When I do this and I'm not filming it and talking you guys through it, I promise it takes like less than three minutes. I will link all the products and tools that I use down below, as well as all the products for the rest of my face. Having eyebrows just makes a total difference. Like look at my face now. I looked crazy when I came on camera before. So I hope this video was helpful you guys. Your 
eyebrows definitely should be tailored to your style, your face shape, everything like that. You don't have to have the laminate brows, Instagram perfect brows. If you want bushy brows, definitely do what works best for you. But this just suits my face nicely. I'm a bigger girl. I need a thick, nice <laughs> brow. And I love the products that I use because I can effortlessly achieve this look. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you still need more tips and tricks. I love you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.